604 now new this morning. Some people go to the fair to enjoy some of the farm animals and other events, but there's also a lot of history packed into the Canfield Fair. First News reporter Amanda Smith gives us a look at some of the hidden gems of the Fine Arts Building. You know, it's not all about agriculture here at the Campfield Fair, although that is a big part of it. Once you've had enough of the animals and everything else going on, come on down to the Fine Arts Building where you could become the Mahoning Lisa or even step inside and see a little bit of some local history you may not have noticed before. One corner of the Fine Arts Barn is dedicated to historical photography. People have made reprints from old photographs or negatives. You can catch little bits of local history all throughout this display. One family travels here every year from North Carolina, and this year they saw one of their family members on display. My cousin took, brought a photograph that was taken of her dad when he was a bad boy, a high school senior in 1954, and he's hanging out in front of the White House and on his senior trip, so I just sent that to my daughter in Washington, D.C. And we moved in 1984, and we moved to North Carolina, and now we live on the coast of North Carolina, um, but we still drive home. Every year it's the Canfield Fair and we are here. Now as always, the Canfield Fair is open daily through Labor Day. In Canfield, Amanda Smith, 27 First News.